Uh, Senator Rubio, thanks for joining us tonight. You're still without a win. How can you get the nomination? Well, first of all, as you know, George, you followed this a long time. We're still in the proportional phase in a very unusual election. We're going to take delegates, major number of delegates, in virtually every state tonight. We're waiting to see what happens in Minnesota as well. I was 15 to 20 points down in Virginia in every public poll. And tonight we will leave Virginia with almost just basically the same number of delegates as Donald Trump. I think the question tonight is, what happened to Ted Cruz's southern strategy? He was supposed to win Iowa, which he did, South Carolina, which he didn't, finished third, and then all these southern states. And instead, tonight, the only thing he won was his home state of Texas and the neighboring state of Oklahoma. He's beating you pretty handily. And he had handily. to share delegates there as well. Well, in his home state of Texas, sure. But here's the bottom line. If you look at the map from here on out, it gets better for us. This was supposed to be it. His whole campaign was built on the southern strategy. It didn't happen. He lost them all, except for his home state. We, on the other hand, have showed growth. You look at Virginia. We were down 20 points going into tonight in every poll. We basically narrowed out to nothing. We feel really good about Minnesota. I know the results are not in there yet. And I think looking forward at the map now and the states that are to come, we're going to start racking up some victories. And then when we get to winner take all, we love the way the map shapes up for us. It's a narrower field. And here's the other point I would make, George. In most of these campaigns, you have a front runner. And at this point, you would have people coming around and saying, all right, it's time to rally around the front runner. That will never happen with Donald Trump. We have the opposite. We have people telling us you must continue to fight on. And, and that's what's happening. You go to our website, MarcoRubio.com. I ask people to join our effort. We have had record numbers of days of people signing up and people donating. We feel really good moving but, but forward Senator, after you're tonight. But Senator, you're 15 points at least behind in Florida, didn't work aren't out you? For Excuse me. You, all the polls, public polls. No, I right don't now. believe those polls. That was one poll. No, no. First of all, those, that was one or a couple polls. We've seen other numbers that ind indicate otherwise. We'll win Florida. I'm confident of that, especially when we have two weeks to explain to the people of the state just exactly what we're getting with Donald Trump, a world-class con artist. I mean, this is a guy who's trying to do to the American people what he did to the students at Trump University. And by the way, how could the Republican Party ever nominate someone who refuses to condemn the Ku Klux Klan as he did repeatedly this week? Okay. He has no chance in a general election. A vote for Donald Trump is a vote for Hillary Clinton, and people are starting to realize it. And you watch tonight, he has basically underperformed the public polling in every state on the map. Senator Rubio, thanks for joining us tonight.